Hey guys, it's me Charuta and welcome to my channel. I am literally doing a sit down video after so long. I don't even remember the last time I did a sit down video and I am obviously super excited about filming this one because this is going to be an old fashioned thrift haul and I have all these amazing pieces that i want to show you guys so basically um i haven't done a lot of thrift with me is because whenever i go to a thrift store i don't buy like 10 things or eight things in a go i try to be really sustainable in my choices and if i like something i'll just pick up one piece and, and then it doesn't make sense to make a whole thrift with me video and then just show you that i got one thing so instead i am doing this like huge thrift haul and all these pieces have been thrifted over the past four or five months and i also thrifted a designer bag that i'm going to show you at the end because i tend to save the best for the last so without wasting any further time let's get started with the video and in case you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe so the first thing that i want to show you is this very cute vintage baseball hat and it looks super cute and it also looks so good with the t-shirt that i have on and I was not the kind of person who was into baseball hats but I kind of like them now because they add sort of a street style edgy look and this one right here it says St. Thomas US Virgin Islands which I feel like it's so cute look at this like little embroidery island detail right here and it is cream and black so it tends to go with a lot of outfits i am absolutely obsessed with this and i got this one from cs scallop shop which is like an instagram store and they also have a website i'll link their page below in the description box in case you want to check it out next i have this beautiful plaid checkered um what is this called um bucket hat sun hat and it is from ralph lauren it has this little logo going on right here and it's basically like a summer sort of hat or cap it would look really good with mini dresses and sandals or sneakers in the summer also for the changing of weather like fall or spring it would look good with dresses and cowboy boots and i am not sure about how it looks on me but i'm absolutely obsessed with the hat so i think i'm going to wear a lot of it during the spring so next i have a few skirts so as a kid i used to play a lot of tennis and i had a lot of tennis skirts so while i was in goodwill looking for like pieces that i would want to take home i found this amazing white tennis skirt it has these little shorts inside it which seems to be like such a nice thing because you can like wear such a mini skirt without worrying about this riding up and like flashing people in general and i feel like these little tennis skirts aren't that popular right now because the one with the pleats are like super popular so this is kind of unique and i feel like it would look really good paired up with a graphic tee like the one that i'm wearing or maybe a crop top and also a graphic tee and a leather trench on it and some loafers it would look really nice and you can also go for an all white outfit so yeah this is one of the skirts that i got the second skirt that i got is this amazing pink color mauve color and it's a midi skirt it's a circle skirt and i think it would look really nice with a little white crop top and maybe a basket bag for the spring and i think for winter i can like style it with some knee high boots and a turtleneck and a trench or a overcoat on top it would look so nice so i got this from goodwill and the material for this skirt is actually the material that is used for making um like 
workout clothes workout t-shirts the material that dries really fast it's that sort of material i don't really know what that material is called also it does not have any tag so i'm not even sure about it so yeah it's a really cute skirt in a very pretty color and i'm super excited to style it and also you must have already seen a lot of pieces that i am showing you in this haul worn by me because i literally have thrifted these pieces over the past four five months and i've already worn these pieces as well so the next thing that i want to show you is this beautiful patterned silk dress that again i found at goodwill it has a beautiful uh, abstract geometric sort of pattern it has like a u neck at front and a little v neck at the back and it also has these flaps going on so what i basically do with the flaps is i tie them back in case i want to define my waist and i also like do a knot sort of thing in the front which gives it kind of a deconstructed origami sort of vibe you'll see when i try it on and the next dress that i'm going to show you is another dress that i found at goodwill it's a little black dress it's an express dress and it has these straps the back like crosses out and the back is like super hot because it has this sort of a peekaboo effect at the back so this part is just going to be your skin and i feel like if like styled well this is like the perfect lbd i'm personally not a fan of black dresses because i find them too basic and boring so i tend to like style them in a way that makes it a little unique so i feel like this dress is pretty cute it's a little black dress it fits me really nice hugs me at all the right places and i feel like it would be a really nice dress to wear for holiday parties with the earrings that i am wearing and maybe like layering a few necklaces so yeah this is a really cute dress and i literally got it for a steal the next dress that i want to show you is another silk dress and it is so beautiful it is a vintage and i absolutely love it the details of the neck and the sleeves it's just so stunning so let me just show it to you guys so this is the beautiful midi dress that i'm talking about it has this kind of abstract pattern that has a matcha green a sky blue and like white sort of dots on a brown fabric and the details of the sleeves are so pretty because you can see here are the pleats and this is what the sleeve looks like and this is the neck at the front this dress it like literally is chef's kiss because it literally hugs me at all the right places and the movement of this dress is absolutely stunning i love pairing this dress with my maroon knee high boots and my cowboy boots as well and it looks really good with the sneakers too so this is a vintage talbots dress and you can tell that it's a vintage by looking at the pattern and it literally fits me really well because it's a petite size and it's in petite silk absolutely love this dress it literally makes heads turn everywhere so next i think i'm gonna move to the bottoms so this is like a basic black short that i got i generally wear it at home but i think it would look really nice with a see through sort of black shirt that i have with a bralette layered underneath and maybe a pair of sneakers and a black tote bag like for a kind of all black look but if you can see it has this really subtle checkered pattern going on which i absolutely love and it's super comfy i wear it at home all the time and i got this from garment district from their buy the pound section next in the bottoms we have the ever so famous dicky pants 
I feel like everyone on TikTok is wearing dickies. So is Emma Chamberlain. So I also got one. Not because it was a dickie, but because it fit me so well. So these are the dickies that I got. These are in a basic beige color and they have the tags on them. So these are literally new with tags and it's from the juniors section. I think this was at Nordstrom and then somebody donated it to Goodwill and then I got it good for me because this like fit like a glove. I'm not even exaggerating. So it's a size 0 or 24 and if you want to know what kind of dicky it is, it is juniors relaxed and it's a cropped work pant and literally it fits so well i haven't worn it out because i wanted to show it to you guys with all the tags on and i absolutely love this little like red dicky logo at the back i feel like it would really look nice with really feminine crop tops and adding dainty sort of jewelry and i also can go with a street style vibe by pairing it with a graphic tee something like this it will look really nice and the next pair of bottoms that I want to show you guys are the ones that I'm actually wearing. So these are a sky blue straight leg cropped sort of denim and these are super soft. These are basically like pajamas and I got them because they have a elastic waistband which is really nice because if I go to the office and I'm working in the lab, I want something that's super comfy and can stretch like while I'm eating lunch because most of the time I have to open the button of my jeans when I'm eating lunch because my stomach literally <laughs> bloats so much. So these are the amazing pants that I got. So let's move on to the tops next. The first one is this amazing graphic tee that I am wearing. If you guys don't know already, I am obsessed with graphic tees. Give me a good graphic tee and I am yours like literally so I got this one this says cabaret and it has this really like fun hot sexy lady on it and it looks super nice it's super oversized and this is from Hanes it is super soft and I absolutely love it and I got it from Goodwill so I literally got it for 2.5 dollars and I'm sure if you go to Urban Outfitters they would sell the exact same t-shirt for $40. I love graphic tees but not enough to spend like $40 on one. So I'm literally always on the hunt for like good graphic tees in Goodwill because they are like somewhat difficult to come by but when you like find them you find pieces like this and I'm like so obsessed. The next piece that I want to show you is a really amazing shirt. This shirt is a cream colored shirt and it has this beautiful zebra print pattern going on. It's the pattern is in navy blue. I don't know how clear it is on camera but it looks really good and at the front it's a button up so it has these amazing blue buttons going on and I absolutely love pairing this shirt with my like straight leg denim jeans and a trench coat and also with white trousers or cream trousers I have worn it so many times. I do have a similar shirt in cotton and it's a black zebra print. So I'm thinking of cropping that one because I already have one that's like a longer length and the one that I can tuck in. So yeah, absolutely love this as well. I mean, I absolutely love thrifting because the gems that you find there are amazing. Okay, so this is the final top that I've got. It's a really basic muscle tee sort of a top. I just washed it so I haven't steamed it. So after steaming it would look much much better. And it is by Fruit and Loom. Obviously it is super soft and it literally fits like a muscle tee and sort of like the padded shoulder tees that were super popular like six months back at Zara and everybody got them. So you see that is the thing about trends. It was so popular six months back and now I don't see 
anyone wearing it not a single person so if you want to indulge in trends you should be sure about your personal style because you should know that you would definitely wear that piece even if it goes out of style and that is what i do when i go for thrifting uh, because i know that i'm going to wear this graphic t-shirt to death even when it's not in style and i feel like graphic tees are a classic they always are in trend so yeah this is the muscle tee it's a plain white tee and i feel like it would look super good tucked into like blue jeans and a lot of silver junk jewelry like a silver choker and a long necklace and also like maybe some jhumkas it would look so so good i can literally see my vision coming to life in my head so lastly i want to show you like basically i'm moving to accessories now so i just want to show you this amazing coach scarf that i got i actually wore it in one of my videos as a top so you might have seen it already and in case you guys did not notice that i'm just showing you it's a navy blue and white sort of a color scheme and it has the coach monogram going on it's not a very big scarf but it is a big enough size for me to wear as a top so it has coach written right over here and then this has the coach tag and i was super lucky because i got this for five dollars so my friend at c scallop shop she was having a sale and it was a clearance sale and she bundled these things for me so like the cap that i showed earlier the cream baseball cap and this scarf and a pair of heels i got for like 15 dollars which was five dollars each which is amazing since i've already started talking about the heels let's just show you those these are the ones that i got from her it was for five dollars if i'm not wrong it was either five or six dollars i have been wanting to get a loafer in this sort of style the one that has like black as well as white details but since i already have another uh, chunky loafer this loafer is also from c scallop so i decided to go for this more of a heel like block heel mule sort of a style since i got it around fall i haven't really worn it out but i'm like waiting for like transitional weather to actually wear it this is such a classic style and i can like pair it with a lot of things so i'm super excited to style it the next pair of heels that i am going to show you are just so beautiful you have to just wait for them so these are the next pair of heels these are leather kitten heels and what literally actually caught my attention was this little cutout detail that's going on and also the leather has a really nice pattern again these are like block kitten heels and these are by a brand called joanne david and they're made in italy and they're made of leather so they're going to last me for so long and they are like literally barely worn and i got them for a really nice price at goodwill and i'm super excited to style them i also feel like the outfit that i'm wearing uh this t-shirt and the denims it would look really nice with that it would just elevate the outfit and finally i am moving to the bags and as i said at the start of the video i found a designer bag you have to wait for that because i'm going to show you it to you at the end so the first bag that i'm going to show you is this amazing little cute gingham bag it has these little handles as well as a long strap so you can wear it as a crossbody or just hold it in your hand and i actually got it to gift to someone but then i realized that i have a dress in literally the same pattern and this particular bag goes so well with this dress so i decided to keep it it's a 
Talbot's bag and I feel like everything Talbot's that I find in the thrift store is like super amazing so I always make it a point to get Talbot's whenever I find it in the Goodwill or like any of the thrift stores that I go to the next bag is oh my god it's so good it's so extra and I think it's perfect for this season because we are in the holidays it's a sequin bag and I think it is totally handmade it has never been worn because you can see there's a tag with sequins in it and it has this cute little zipper and the inside of the bag is all silk and I feel like it, it would be such a fun bag to like carry to holiday parties and I am anyway obsessed with these mini shoulder baguette bags and this looks so good i mean even with this t-shirt it just takes the outfit to the next level and i am sure that this is literally going to be my most used bag in the coming like seasons and around the holiday season and i'm super excited to style it and finally as i said saving the best for the last i found a Prada bag and it is actually a Prada nylon tote bag and oh my god I can't even believe my luck because when I saw it in Goodwill I literally searched on real real to see if if it was a copy or it was like a fake bag but it wasn't Prada literally brought back their nylon bags and they have this uh, little nylon bag and tote bag and they are calling it re nylon and I am super lucky to find a vintage Prada nylon tote bag and this is how it looks it's a black bag it needs to be steamed doesn't look so good right now but I am totally obsessed with it I mean look at this logo isn't it literally the stuff the dreams are made of and I can't even believe it that I found it at Goodwill and it also has this little tag on the insides it is on a metal plate and it sells Prada Milano made in Italy and at the front the logo says Prada Milano DAL 1913 and this is what the actual tag should say so I can't believe my luck that I found a Prada nylon bag at Goodwill I literally snatched it as soon as I saw it this would be my everyday bag like going to Trader Joe's or going to run some errands because this is the best and look how cute it looks with my graphic tee as well i'm super excited about this bag and yeah that is all i have for you today these are the pieces that i thrifted over four or five months and i hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul in case you guys want me to do a thrift with me let me know because as i said earlier i don't buy a lot of things at once in the thrift store because i want to be sustainable about my fashion choices if it's thrifted it doesn't mean you can like buy 50 100 clothes and then just wear them for a while and then just throw them away because anyway they're going to go in a landfill and we don't really want that really want to be sustainable about my fashion choices even if like i have to be patient with the process but still if you want to see how i thrift and how i pull pieces from the racks in the thrift store and then just like filter them out and like literally decide on what pieces that i want i would be happy to do a thrift with me but i just want to like give a disclaimer that it won't be like a huge huge haul or the other option is i can like go thrifting and then collect all the pieces over four or five months and then show it to you guys so let me know in the comments below what do you prefer and yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know which is your favorite piece in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe hit the bell button share it with your friends my channel has been growing super slow that is why i've been feeling so unmotivated to make videos anymore but yeah i am back now and i'll be making a lot of more videos and i'll be uploading every single monday now and yeah that's it i will see you next monday until then bye